Hello and welcome to the course Complete Login and Registration System with PHP and MySQL. My name is Terry and I will be guiding you through this course. In this series, you will learn how to develop a complete and secured login and registration system using PHP and MySQL database from scratch. You are going to learn how to connect and manipulate database objects using PDO PHP data objects. You are going to learn about validation and in-depth system security with focus on HTML form validation and PHP script security. You will learn about secured password hashing in PHP using PHP hashing algorithm. You are also going to learn how to register and authenticate user into your system. You are also going to learn how to prepare and send account activation link to user's email address as they register so that they will be able to confirm that email address. You will learn how to display and update user's profile information in the system and also you are going to learn how to log off users automatically from the system when they are inactive over a predefined period of time. You are also going to be learning how to write custom functions in PHP that can be reused in other places in your application. You're also going to learn how to protect your site against cross-site request forgery attack and lots more. In order to take this course, you need to already have PHP development environment running on your computer with PHP version 5.5 or a newer version. You need to have basic understanding of PHP and HTML. And then you need to have a test editor that you can use to code along in the course. All right, so let me quickly walk you through the application that we are going to develop together in the series. This is the home page of the application that we are going to be uh, developing. We have a link to allow users to log in and also a link to allow users to sign up. So we are going to create a new account. So we get the message, congratulations, John, registration completed successfully. Please check your email address for confirmation link. All right, so right now, if this user attempts to log in, you're going to get the message, please activate your account. This is because the user have not yet clicked on the confirmation link. All right, so we'll go over to the email now and then activate this account. So we'll click on the confirm email link. All right, so once I click on that link, it actually opened in Firefox. So this account is now activated. If the user attempts to log in again, be able to log in the user so i'm going to do this in chrome all right so now we're able to log in this user when we click on profile be able to view the user's profile information and here we have a link to allow the users to update their profile change password and also to deactivate their account so let's try to change the profile picture for this user select and then i'm just going to pick a profile picture here and then click on update right so we see here profile updated and next if we go back to profile we want to change the password all right so operation successful your password was updated successfully so while all these are going on we also ensure that only valid information can be entered into the system so if we attempt to submit this form right now we'll not be able to uh, submit it without providing the required information and if the user enters an invalid old password here for example click on change password we're going to get an error message old password is not correct please try again so in the case that the user doesn't remember their old password, we also give them the ability to reset their password. So uh, let's log out of the system now and go to login screen. Here you can see that we have forgot password link. So all the user needs to do here is to input their email address and then click on email me reset link. And then we send the password reset link to the user's email address. So from the user's email, they'll be able to click on the reset link and then uh, recover their password. So we're going to choose a new password. All right, so let's log in the user again, John. All right, now we are able to log in the user again. So another cool functionality that is included in this system is the ability to remember the user's login information. So let's log out again and go to login form. Here you can see that we have the remember me a check box. So when the user check that box during the login process, we're going to log the user in and then if the user closes the browser and attempt to do a login again, 
we're going to log them in automatically without asking them for their logon information. Another cool feature that we have in the system is the ability to automatically log at users after a predefined time of inactivity. So I basically set the time to two minutes for the purpose of this demonstration. I'm going to pause the video and after two minutes, I'll refresh the page and then you'll see that the system will automatically log us out. All right, so it's more than two minutes now. I'm going to just click on profile link and you see here, it takes us back to the home page and there we are uh, provided with the link to log in again to the system. So we're going to log in to the user again. We also have the functionality to allow the users to deactivate their account. So the way this functionality works is when the user clicks on deactivate your account, we are going to ask them if they actually want to proceed. And if they say yes, we are going to go ahead to deactivate the account and then send them an email. Okay. So we are going to deactivate this account and keep the information in the system for 14 days. If the user wants to continue using the system, they will log in within these 14 days and we will automatically reactivate their account. If they don't log in within this 14 days period, we are going to automatically delete their account from the system. All right. So when I go to my email client, I can see that message that my account has been deactivated and I will be able to log in. Uh, within the next 14 days so if this user still wants to continue using the system all they need to do is actually just log in again and we're going to automatically activate the account for them as long as it is still within the 14 days interval so all this and a lot more we're going to be learning how to put together in the course step by step so if you really want to learn and understand how user authentication works in php how to build a secured application in php not just a login system per se but how to put together a system that is secured then this is the right course for you